Good evening, Francisco. Hey, good evening. Okay, good to see you. You're the only one in the class? Okay, Andrea. Andrea too. Andrea and Claudia. Let us wait a little bit so that the majority of the participants can gather into the class. How, how are you today, Francisco? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. Are you? Just fine. Okay. You know, willing to listen to the, um, the information you got from, I think you are in charge of talking about Mexico, right? Mexico? Yeah. What, what kind of information did you get? Oh, no. Uh, I, I take the information for Brazil. Ah, you said Brazil, right? But, you said but I changed. I I have the new new um uh, information for. I think it's the more important is for the Facebook. I how use the information the old user. All right, good. Yeah. Now welcome Jonathan, Iliana. Welcome back. Hello, uh, hello Claudia. Good to see you here, Catherine. Hey, Hiroki. Hey, how are you? Just fine. I hope you could solve the problem you had yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now it's another day, right? <laughs> hey, Jancy, welcome back. Andrea, good to see you here. Good evening, teacher, good evening. everybody. I am driving in this moment, but uh, I am trying to... Okay, be careful, be careful, yeah. okay. Andrea Esmeralda, good to see you here. Claudia Jocelyn, welcome back. Okay, I hope, well, I hope that everybody is all right and that you are having a great time. I don't know if you already have dinner. Okay, you know, after dinner, people tend to get sleepy. But I know here the story is different, right? Because we are here to be awakened and to be positive and to do our best, right? To do our best effort. Okay, so... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm missing like six people. We're missing six people. You are like 18 or 19, as far as I remember. Okay, but you know, tonight I told you, right, that we are going to be um, in church of uh, presenting information regarding to different cultures, different countries. Uh, uh, one of the purposes was to, to grasp a vocabulary, meaning of uh, words, pronunciation, and uh, of course that you are going to present information, but at the same time you're gonna teach what you got, okay? You remember, you remember about it? Yes. yes. Okay, so we're gonna go over it, okay? And remember, you're going to be, you're going to let us know the way you learned vocabulary. And the rest of the people are going to take notes, okay? For example, if Francisco got 10 new words, everybody's going to, to write down 10 new words, okay? If they are new for you, okay, keep them for you, okay? And then we're going to get a, a big list of words, new vocabulary. Si tiene, va, imaginemos Francisco comienza con su presentación y él nos muestra que 10 palabras nuevas que él se ha aprendido. Los demás las observan y dicen, mmm, de las 10 quizás, 5 no las conocía o quizás las 10 no las conocía, entonces las escribo y las investigo. ¿Ok? Uh, Francisco nos va a decir cómo él las aprendió, pronunciación y lo que significa, pero todos vamos a ir aprendiendo, todos, de todas las presentaciones, ¿ok? El día de mañana vamos con repaso del midterm, ¿ok? Y ahora nos vamos a dedicar a esta actividad. Ok, so, let's start with Francisco. Francisco. What? Excuse me. 
Yeah, let's start with your presentation. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I need compare share um, screen. Okay, share the screen. Okay, the screen. Okay, everybody, be ready because you are you you will be in charge of taking notes. Después de las presentaciones, yo voy a preguntar a los de, a los demás que qué palabras adquirieron, qué vocabulario adquirieron de la presentación del compañero. Um, excuse me, I don't know how I do it. Uh, you can look my screen. No. Um, okay, uh, I don't know how I do it no. for, uh, compare to my screen. Uh, si quiere empieza alguien más, voy a ver eso ahorita en lo que hace para... Okay, very good. Now, choose somebody else, uh, Francisco. Choose somebody else. Uh, Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan, go ahead. Good night. Uh, can I share screen? Sure. Okay. Uh, se ve? Confirman? No. No. Okay. no. Okay. Una pregunta, ¿dónde, ¿dónde está esa opción? Share screen. A pesar. A pesar. Mm. El lado inferior. Se dice um. compartir pantalla. Gracias. Ok. Yes. Ok, Jonathan. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, now uh, uh, we can see it. Good evening. Uh, in, at night, we talk about Argentina. I am working with my co-worker, Catherine Guatemala, and uh, we talk about seven things about Argentina. Uh, she, she starts. Okay. Hi, good evening. Argentina is an amazing place to visit and an even better place to live. Um, number one, good food uh, from north or to south. Argentina has a way of culinary delight. In the northern province, you can enjoy fried empanadas, and excellent wine. Argentina is known for its excellent wine around the world. And you have to be in Mendoza to try stuff of the country. And number three, a beautiful landscape. A skated throne, a Argentina. You can find desert, mountains, rivers, lakes, Jungle, Woodland, and Bustling Urban Center. Okay, reason number one. Number four, sorry, for travel to Argentina, friendly people. Argentinians are very happy people, how much more than they are world champions. Reason number five, uh, good weather. The climate uh, in Argentina is very pleasant since it has cold and hot seasons. And finally, uh, number six, Argentina has a diverse culture. There are uh, writers, uh, they have uh, museums, big cities, and parks that are unique at work and this only thank you and also uh, Catherine right Jonathan and Catherine 
Uh, look at the chat, please, uh, Jonathan and Catherine. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, how do you pronounce the first word in the chat? Weather. Weather, right? Weather. Weather. How do you pronounce the second word? Signs. Scenes. Scenes. Yeah, scenes. How do you pronounce scenes. the third word? Culture. Culture. Okay, culture. And how do you pronounce the last word? Unique. Unique. All right, very good. Okay, so why did I type uh, the vocabulary in, in the chat? Because, you know, you did a great effort and that was fantastic, okay? But remember, we are focusing on the effort tonight in the pronunciation of words, a new vocabulary. Now, I wonder if you got like some words that you would like to to teach to anybody in the, to to everybody in the group. Sacaron el listadito de palabras, Jonathan and Catherine. Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay. My, I have two. Uh, they and what? Give me one second. All right. Mm. Le escribo en en el chat. Yeah, in the chat would be really nice. Okay, everybody, okay. pay attention to the vocabulary they will share in the chat. Okay, we have the first, we have one. Well, you, if, you, if you didn't know the vocabulary about the one I typed, you can take notes, people. Okay, you, we have two words, only two words, Jonathan. Yes, only two. Only two. How do you pronounce those two words? <laughs> Cli climate? Did um, you investigate pronunciation, Jonathan? Uh, no, uh, I don't have time today. Because uh, you didn't... I hardly work uh, all day. Uh, you didn't have enough time. Okay, it's all right. Yes, sorry. Okay. Uh, how do you pronounce the first word, people? For anyone. Climate. Yeah, climate. All right. And what about the second one? You can the go. Plans. Please. Listen. All right. Very good. You can go to to Google Translator if you if you want to listen to the pronunciation there. You type the word and then you click on the on the icon about a microphone or I, I don't I don't remember exactly what the icon is all about but you can listen to it clearly okay so you don't have any any doubt okay people from the words that are in the chat how many words did you get cuántas palabras de las que están en el chat de las que compartió Jonathan eh, Catherine I don't know if you have more words yeah yeah okay can you share those words Okay, what's the pronunciation about those words? Okay. What's the pronunciation? What's the meaning? Remember, meaning and pronunciation. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, what's the meaning of the first words? Because my Google Translate don't translate it's Carter. I think it is, uh, is that the word that you uh, found out, Catherine? Olive? Uh, is, is that the word or can you check the, the, the word, please? 
en translated y es parecido como por todas partes. En este caso sería como que en el área de Argentina es como que lo que está alrededor, o sea, tipo la temperatura, se podría decir. Ok. O sea, como los, los lugares que están esparcidos por Argentina, por ejemplo, eh, eh, desierto, desert, mountains, rivers, lakes, jungles. Eso sería okay. como que la primera. What's the pronunciation? Skate, skater, skated. Scattered, so, all right, scattered, pretty good. And that's the meaning. Thank you, Catherine. And what about the second word? Uh, Woodlands. No, the other one. Throughout. Uh, through, through, Throughout. Yeah. Yeah. What's the meaning? Es como alrededor. Mm, not exactly. Throughout. Hey, hey, can, can, okay, let us help. Uh, let us help them. If you have a Google Translator there, you can you can get the word, right? Scattered, we got it. Throughout, who can tell me the, the meaning of that word? A lo largo de. O sea, oh, como... Okay. Pretty good. Throughout. What about the last word? Let me, see. Let me see. We have bustling, right? Or we have wetlands. What is it all about? Humedales, o sea, algo como pantanoso. Okay. Por ejemplo, donde hay muchos como flores japoneses que solo crecen prácticamente en esos eh, lagos específicos. Ok, thank you. And the last word? Bottling. Sería como bullicioso. Bustling. Mm -hmm. uh, is that the pronunciation? Bustling? Bustling, yeah. Okay. So you have more words, right? So we have, how many words do we have right so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten new words. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Jonathan. Pretty okay. good. Now, Francisco, I think you, you got ready, right? Uh, I think so. Okay. Well, Take your own list of words, people. Get your own list of words, new vocabulary. Okay, Francisco, go ahead. Okay, uh, it's for uh, the Facebook, how the, uh, the social media uh, make the information, the or uh, house information. They say this is the most people know that Facebook has information about them. Which we submit things like our names, uh, our hometown, our age, our builder, and our interests. And we assume, it, assume that Facebook is collecting that data. Uh, but Facebook has much, has much more data on most people than they realize. What does Facebook know about you? Facebook can take all the data that you don't and combine it with data from the other user and outside information to construct a profile of you. Uh, Facebook, you see nearly 100 different data points. 
to classify your interests and act activities. This will include basic stuff like your age and gender, but also more complicated information, like wherever you own a motorcycle or you recently went on vacation, or whatever you are gadget did. Researchers have found that by using signal such as your likes and interaction, Facebook could tell you you were in a relationship or going through or break up. Where you go? Facebook does you know Facebook does not just, just know who you are. It also knows where you are. If you have location tracking to know, Facebook collects an enormous amount of location data about where you are going, where you come from, where you lie, where you work, what restaurant and business you tend to, to go. And they use the information to target ads at you. And the location data could reveal other people who lie, who live in your house. Even if you are not connected to them on Facebook, on Facebook, what you buy? Now, obviously, Facebook now what is user buy? What is user buy? when they click on ads from Facebook. But what most people don't, don't realize is that they have ways of tracking your offline purchase as well. For many years, Facebook has had partnership with data broker that collected information about people purchase. So for example, if you buy a burrito with your credit card, Facebook could know about that transaction. Much is, is with the credit card that you, you have. You will add it to Facebook or Facebook Messenger and I start showing you ads for indigestion medicine. You, who you know. One of the most controversial parts of Facebook data collection is a feature, feature calling people you may know. And this, uh, and it is, and it is where Facebook uses many different signals of what it is now about you. Uh, to determine who who else you need to be connected to. And this is not always team that you share with Facebook. Uh, it may be contact in your phone. It may, may be people who have been in the same room as you. Facebook was using location data to recommend the friends. So it's my need have been recommending people who share a doctor with you or work in the same building. What do you, what do, you do? Facebook can also be used to comply, compile data about your political activity like protests or march you to go. In one case in the two, 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 216, uh, the ACLU found that one uh, 500 police organization has in our for her service, which is scrapped data from social network like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, to head office looking for using who might be in a specific location or, or attending a specific protests. 
For example, Geophilia claiming it is helping the Baltimore Police Department monitor and respond to the protests after the day the death of Freddie Gray. You future, Facebook does, does not just know who you are, where you are, and what you buy. Uh, it also can be used to figure out what kids or team you mean to in the future. To predict life outcomes, like wherever you will be addicted to substance, wherever you will switch political party, wherever, wherever you are physical healthy or physical unhealthy. These are all part of the information that Albert Tyser love to know. Because it's helped them better target user. Okay, and this is the presentation on uh, my new words uh, learning is this. Uh, okay, I don't know if you can compartir it. Okay, in the chat I typed like three, three of them. Okay, because I, I would really uh, like to know about pronunciation of these three words. If there is anybody who wants to help me with the pronunciation, that would be fantastic. Oops. I don't know what it's... No sé qué dice acá, pero le voy a escribir en el chat las palabras. Mejor que las tenía en una presentación de PowerPoint, pero las tengo acá escritas. Ok, Francisco. Ok, ok. Ok. Um, take, take a look at the chat, people. Francisco is going to share his vocabulary. Okay. No, sí, ese error era menor. Amount is um. Does only does. All right. So let us know the way to pronounce the words, please, Francisco. From the from the very beginning, I mean, I, I have I type three words. Okay, the first is location tracking, seguimiento de la ubicación. We cannot. Okay. 
enormous amount, enorme cantidad, and to target apps, dirigirte a anuncios, and to determine, determinar. All right. Did, did you, okay. But in, in the previous ones to those, uh, Francisco, assume. What? Uh, antes de es, del vocabulario que usted digitó, hay tres palabras que me interesa saber uh, cómo ah, las pronuncia. Okay. Assume data live. Uh, okay, so now, uh, Francisco, go to Google Translator or, and investigate the, the pronunciation of these three words, okay? Okay. When, wow. when, you, get, when you get it, so then you raise your hand and let us know the, the right way to pronounce them, okay? It's okay. Okay, thank you pretty much, Francisco. Good, good information, okay? You're welcome. Okay, after Francisco, I think, uh, I don't know if there's another volunteer. Otherwise, I will choose the person. Is there any other volunteer? No volunteer. I mean, everybody will participate tonight. We still have a lot of time out here. Okay, let me see. Claudia? Good evening. Good evening. The Mexican culture, custom and tradition. Is me escucha? Yes. Right. Yes. The Mexican arts, clay, pottery, embroidery, custom garment, garment work. Shorts and other garments with angular designs, colorful baskets, and raw are some of, of the coming areas associated with Mexican for are millennia or traditions continue in silver painting, mosaic textile, variety, and basket uh, weaving. A According to Mexican for you. And new words in my vocabulary play pareri, men in Spanish, ceramica de barro, other men in Spanish, exterior, Carmen, men in Spanish, vestidos, y basket, men in Spanish, cesta, y server. Es meeting en Spanish platería. Okay. Here, right? Clay pottery. Now you can see, you can see like, like the vocabulary. If you didn't know about these new words, you can take notes, people. Remember. We are going to try to memorize as many new words as possible tonight, okay? To tonight is for us to identify pronunciation, meaning of words, and to learn them by heart. Thank you very much, Claudia. Now we're gonna listen to uh, Luisa. Hello, Luisa, good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm talking about traditional Chinese clothing. I'm going to tell you about the typical costumes of China. These were the costumes that were used in the past and they changed according to the dynasty. In the present, some of these typical costumes are still used for special 
occasion, such as New Year's or weddings. The handful used since the, the, the dynasty is a type of dress influenced the clothing of other countries close to China, China, to China, pardon, such as Japan, where its influence is show in the kimono, the typical Korean costume called hanbok. It was also influenced by the costume traditional Chinese. Dressing a shift was synonymous with belonging to a social elite. They were made of a tonic that reached the knees. It was a fairly white garment and sometimes consisted of different layers of tunic were decorated with primary colors, typ typical of the time. The handful was used by men and, and women, and its, and its meaning depended on the color of the suit. The red color the red color represents virtue and good look. The yellow color can only be used by the emperor. The blue color could be used by anyone. The color purple was worn by the emperor's grandchildren, young, young women, and they also used the intense green color. The black color was considered the color of the evil, but now it's used to be the elderly. The white color was a sign of mourning. The hanfu is the traditional Chinese costume for excellence, also considered one of the oldest costumes in the world. And vocabulary. So only. What's the vocabulary all about, uh, Luisa? Could you please read? Yeah, I mean. Style. The, uh, they say style or steel? Uh, steel, steel. Uh, steel okay, steel. okay. Yeah. Belonging. Uh -huh. Grandchildren, grandchildren, worn, worn, elderly, elderly, sign, 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 morning, morning. Okay, morning. thank you. Hey, Luisa, great job, Luisa, Luisa. But look at the previous words I typed. Eh, mira a, la, a las palabras que que yo eh, digité antes de lo que usted colocó. I tengo uh, una, dos, tres, cuatro, cuatro cinco. Oh. Ok, sí. le voy a dar un, un, dos minutos para que las investigue cómo se pronuncia y luego regresamos con usted. Francisco, I think you, you, you got it, right? You got your words. Right. You're in charge of uh, investigating only three words, Francisco. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Uh, um, the first, assume, is asumir. Uh -huh. Data, data is datos, y live vida. Uh, okay, but you say assume data. Assume. You say data or data. Uh, data. Okay, leave, all right, leave. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, Luisa, Luisa, I will get back to, to you in a couple of minutes, okay? Algunas, algunas palabras que yo estoy digitando en el chat, se las voy a asignar para que las busquen así rapidito y que nos digan cómo se pronuncian, okay? Okay, now Luisa is done with her presentation. Let me see, Andrea, Andrea. Now it's your turn.
Okay. Mm. I will talk about Thailand and I will talk about uh, interesting, unusual and fun fast about Thailand known worldwide for its charming local majestic lime stone cliffs, cliffs and picture postcard beaches and coastlines. Thailand is also home to a variety of farms, farm scenes, wakey idiosyncrasies, and charming quirks. Mm. The world is bizarre in Thailand, seems to be measured by a single yardstick, and the country is full of starling, starling oddities. In, in Thailand, Thailand is the only country in Southeast Asia that has never been colonized under European power. Mm, Thailand used to be known as the kingdom of old Siam and is the country where Siam is cut or originated from. And every year there is a festival dedicated, dedicated in Tyrell to monkeys and in Thailand. Paying respect to the royal family is a very serious matter. matter. And this is a cat, uh, a Siam cat. And the words are bizarre, is extraño, colonized, is colonizado, Siamese is um, CMS, um, idiosyncrasias is idiosyncrasias, and Cots line is línea de costo, and charming is encantador. That's all. Thank you. Andrea, Andrea, uh, I don't know if you can see the, the words that I typed in the chat. You have one, two, three, and four, only four words. Investigate the, the vocabulary, please. Can you listen to me? Um. Yeah, only only through uh, four words, right? So do me the favor to I'm investigate. Sure. I will get back uh, in a couple of minutes. Luisa, I think you you did it, right? You got the the words. Or do you, or do you need some more time? More time, please. Uh, okay, very good, Luisa. Go ahead. Okay, and and Andrea, Andrea, try to get the the vocabulary there and the pronunciation. Ileana, it's your turn. Okay, teacher, I'm gonna share the screen. Okay, this is going to be the last presentation because I we have just a, a few minutes, okay? I will check the list of attendance and I will let you know what we are doing tomorrow. Can you see my screen? Yeah, we can do see your screen. Yes. Okay, um, uh, yesterday I found an article about Japan's culture, so I'm going to talk about it. Um, let me see. Uh, I read that Japan has been very westernized, but they still have some ethical rules to maintain harmony. And some of the ethical rules they have are the first one, that they don't shake hands or kiss their loved ones. Um, 
maybe because it's they don't show a lot their feelings. Also, um, another ethical rule they have is that they uh, bow when they want to show respect to somebody or to someone else. Uh, the more they bow, the more they show respect. Also, when they eat, uh, they do the slurping sound, which for, I mean, in America, it's kind of disrespectful, but for Japanese people, uh, there is a way to show respect. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a way to show that they like the food. That's why they do the slurping sound. Uh, also, when they, um, they don't wear shoes at home, but when they want to use the restroom, they wear slippers. And the last one is that when they, before they enter a shrine, they um, wash symbolically, they uh, wash their hands to show like respect uh, before entering these, the different kind of shrines they have in Japan. And the vocabulary I found is this one, westernalized, slurping sound, shrine, sleepers, and bowing. Yes. Okay, so new words that you will never forget. That's the purpose, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, that was uh, fantastic. I think we still have time for uh, a last participant. Ileana, uh, choose the last person, please, because you were the last uh, um, participant. Glendy? Glendy, let's see if Glendy, yeah, Glendy hasn't participated. Okay, Glendy. Hi, everyone. I'm Hello. going to talk about uh, Thailand nature. Uh, well, as far as you know, Thailand has a lot of forests. It has many beautiful beaches. And the most attractive places in Thailand in are island beaches and also ancient Buddhist temples. And there are many spectacular tourism places. And for instance, islands, natural park, and also there is a beach. Uh, this beach is surrounded by tropical forests. And that's make it even more interesting. And that's it. You were from, from the information you investigated. Yes. Uh, can I write in the chat or can I yeah, say? You can, you can type it in the chat and, and pronounce it at the same time. Okay. Uh, the first is ancient. Uh, temples okay. and surrounded. Only three words I have. 
around the temples and ancient. Good. Very yeah. good, Glendy. Okay, I will check the list of tindas and when I finish, Andrea is going to uh, provide a vocabulary, transition about vocabulary and Luisa, okay? And you know, I will let you know what we, what's happening tomorrow about, about the class, because remember, tomorrow we have classes, okay, people? Don't forget about it. Tomorrow we have the last session of the week. Just give me one second, please. I will. I, I need to check the list of attendance. You actually, you've done a great job tonight. You know, presenting information is not that easy, uh, especially because we, we were just focusing our uh, time on getting pronunciation and meaning of new words. Okay, Adriana Gretel. Is Adriana here? Hello? No, right? So Adriana is not here. She was here. She was? Yes. Oh, okay. What about Andrea Esmeralda? I am here. Good. Claudia Jocelyn? Present. David Alonso? Present. Uh, Francisco Alexander? Present. Gabriela Guadalupe? I think. Um, Glendy? Here. Ileana? I'm here. Hiroki? I'm here. Good. Jennifer uh, Raquel? I'm here. Uh, Jonathan Vladimir? Present. Josue Miguel? Josue Miguel. Oh, Carla Tatiana. Presente. Good. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Luis Adriana. Present. Mayra Patricia. Present. Nerling. Is Nerling over here? Jancy Jamilet. Jancy. Okay, people who didn't get into the class tonight. Solo voy a repetir para que estemos seguros. Eh, personas que no estuvieron en clase, Gabriela Guadalupe, Josué Miguel, Nerling, Jancy Jamilet. All right, now we are done with it. So, hey, people, you know, it's been quite good to be over here in another, another night, okay? And uh, let me see, Andre, I think you have something for everybody here. Coach, me escucha. Yeah, we can listen to you. Perfectly. Okay. Yeah, the first word is measure. Major. Okay, measure, measure. is medido. European is Euro Europeo. European, all right. European, um, originated. Originated. Is, uh, originated, okay. Um, is originado. And respect. A respect. Is respeto. Excellent, Andrea. And Luis, I think I think uh, you got some vocabulary, right? Pronunciation. Yes. Costumes is depressing. Good. Customs. Okay, good. It represents. It represents. Yeah. It represents. Representa. 
by for. Okay, John. so it was by, right? Mm -hmm. By is for. Young, young women es mujeres jóvenes. Young women, okay. Y young woman es mujer joven. Young woman, okay, that was fantastic. Congrats. Thank you, Luisa. Thank you. Hey, as you can as you can see, como pueden ver en esa en esa noche solo quise que todos hagamos énfasis en que cuando busquemos algo para presentar o, o que queramos compartir, que nos aseguremos de la pronunciación y de de, de qué es lo que estamos diciendo, ¿ok? Porque vaya, por ejemplo, en, en el caso de young woman, young women, ¿ok? Eh, si yo digo young woman, young woman, young women, entonces realmente quien, eso solo es un ejemplo, no crean, cuando yo, cuando yo era estudiante cometía muchísimos errores, o sea, el, el, el ejemplo perfecto de, lo, de cometer errores lo tienen con ustedes como teacher ahora, pero poco a poco uno va aprendiendo, chicos, ¿ok? Poco a poco, y eso es tan satisfactorio que uno vaya avanzando, que nos demos cuenta de nuestros pequeños errores, pero que los vayamos eh, overcoming, que los vayamos venciendo, ¿ok? So, si, no, si nosotros, por ejemplo, decimos John Woman, John Women, John, John, John es un nombre, es, es Juan en español, ¿sí o no? John, sí, John Woman, Juan, mujer, John Women, mujeres, Juan. Entonces, son, son pequeños, pequeños, pequeños detalles que si, si, este, si el oyente no está en contexto, él se puede perder. Imaginémonos un gringo o un norteamericano, pues quizás como que le va a costar entendernos un poquito. Igual que cuando ellos tratan de hablar español, ¿verdad? Si ustedes se han fijado, cuando ellos tratan de hablar español es como, es mucho más difícil para ellos. Entonces, inglés tiene ese detalle. Hay que fijarnos muy bien en pronunciación también, ¿ok? El día de mañana, chicos y chicas, vamos con el midterm. Termínenlo, mañana vamos con el repaso, ¿de acuerdo? Espero que todo esté bien, que, que, pues, que descansen y nos vemos el día de mañana. Tons of blessings. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you Good night. 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 See you. See you.